Hey Green Group, it's Maddie here. We're gonna do a cooking class today. We're gonna do a cake in a mug. So all you need to do is find a mug at your house and a few ingredients to make a cake in a mug. So let's get started. So we're gonna go through our ingredients. Here's my recipe. I need three tablespoons flour. So I'm gonna find my flour. This is what flour looks like. I know you have it at home. If you're not sure where it is, maybe ask mom or dad. Then I need sugar. We all know what sugar is because we use it at school. It looks like this. Then we're going to use cocoa. If you don't know what cocoa is, it looks like this. Again, if you're not sure, ask mom and dad where it is. Then we're going to use baking powder. It can look like this. If you open it, it looks like a white powder. Then we're going to need milk. You can find this in the fridge. Then you're going to need some salt. It could look like this or it could be table salt and, and a shaker. Then you're going to need some oil. Oil might trick you because it can say canola oil or it says vegetable oil. Either one will do the job. Then we're going to need some vanilla. Vanilla looks like this. It's a brown color and it comes in all different kinds of bottles. So just look for the word vanilla. So let's get started. We're going to take our tablespoons that usually look like this and they're measuring for small items like flour or salt or in this case we're just doing it in a mug so we need something that will measure things of small amounts. So we're going to take our flour and we're going to do three tablespoons. So let's all count three tablespoons. <coughs> and then make sure that I even it out. Remember we're going to take something and scoop it, whether it be a knife or use the side of the jar. So we have one, two, and three. So we're done with our flour. So we can close it and put it away. That's right, I said put it away. Then we can use, grab our sugar, open it, and we're gonna do three tablespoons, and that's the biggest one, and it says TBS, usually. Or it can say TBSP, meaning tablespoon. So we're gonna put three in there. We have one, two, and our last one, three. And we're finished with that, so we can set that down, close our sugar, and put it away. Then we're going to grab what's next on our ingredients is cocoa. And this calls for two tablespoons cocoa, which again is just our biggest measuring spoon. We're going to grab one, and we're going to even it off with the side, and put it right in for one tablespoon. And we're going to do one more to make that two. Then we're going to do the same thing that we've done with all of our other ingredients. We're going to close the lid and put it away. Then I'm going to grab my baking powder, open the lid. Then I'm going to put one fourth. That looks like a one slash four. And then it's a teaspoon. So it's a TSP. It's kind of hard to see on mine. It's kind of worn out, but it says TSP, meaning teaspoon. And we're just going to do one of those. Make sure it's really even and dump it in. Then I'm going to close my lid and put it away. Then I'm going to grab my milk. It's probably in the fridge, so you'll need to pull it out from the fridge. And I'm going to come back to my tea, my excuse me, my tablespoon, and I'm going to put three tablespoons of milk into my mug. This part can be kind of tricky, so if you're not steady, you can always do it over the sink. 
So we're going to do one, two, and three. And it's okay if you spill, because I spilled. You can always clean it up. Just get a paper <laughs> towel or a rag, wipe it up, and keep on going. So we're going to put our milk away. As soon as you're done with the milk, you need to put it in your fridge. So go ahead and put it in your fridge. Make sure you shut the fridge and come back to your making. Then I'm going to put a pinch of salt. I don't know what a pinch of salt is. Do you guys? I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a teeny bit on my finger over just a little bit. I'm going to shake just a tad just about that much into my hand. And then I'm gonna shake it into the, the mug. That's all the salt we need. We don't want it to be too salty. Then I'm gonna take my oil, remember it can be canola oil or vegetable oil, and I'm gonna take my big teaspoon again, and I'm gonna put three of these in. So let's count. One, two, and our last one, three. Then I'm going to close the lid, and you can probably think what I'm going to say. Then you're going to close the lid and put it away. Then for our last ingredients is our vanilla. <coughs> We're going to take our one-fourth teaspoon, which is the smallest one again, and we're going to put one-fourth into our mug. Pour slowly so you don't spill, but it's okay if you get a little bit too much in, but don't pour the whole bottle. Now I'm finished with my vanilla, so I'm going to close the lid and put it away. And I'm finished with these. When you're done with something that's dirty, you should put it in the sink to be cleaned. Then I'm going to take a spoon, and I'm going to come into my mug, and I'm going to slowly start to stir. Be careful when you stir so you don't come over the mug. But I'm going to stir all my ingredients together and it should start to look like cake. I think it looks like cake, but I'm going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring. I'm going to get all those little clumps out so I don't just get a little bit of one of the ingredients in my mouth. I want to mix it really, really good so that I can enjoy my fluffy cake. I'm really excited to eat this cake, and I hope you're excited to make it too. That's right, you can try and make this. Then, when you feel like you've got it really mixed really well, you can tap off your spoon. Get a paper towel. Set your spoon down so you don't make a mess. And we're going to put it into the microwave for 90 seconds. I know all of you know what 90 seconds is. All right, my mug cake is done in the microwave, so I'm going to pull it out. <clears throat> but remember, it is very hot. So if you need to, you can use a rag or even a hot pad, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. We just don't want you to burn your hands. So you're going to grab the mug and pull it out and set it down and you're going to let it sit for about two minutes. And once that two minutes is done, you're going to take your spoon and enjoy cake in a mug. Mmm.